Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the legendary Grando RC car. So this is actually a really cool RC car. I have not had one of these since I was a kid and I decided to grab one. Um, I thought this one was pretty cool looking and is definitely one of the higher end models. Um, it's fairly large scale, so um, I don't know if I have anything really to compare it to, but maybe just as an example, right? Here's a set of dumbbells. So this thing is actually very large. Um, I'm not like an enthusiast of these, so I know um, if you were to look around, you could probably find some people who really know these very thoroughly in terms of how to spec them out and compare them. But I'll just give my overall thoughts as someone that's new to this and um, some of the things that I was able to find online doing research on them. Um, the tires themselves are really large. Um, you have this basically plastic cover. It's a shroud that goes over it. This comes with um, some extra mirrors that you can put on. They're basically in a little bag. I have not attached them yet, but um, they don't attach them by default because of the fact that you don't want them breaking off. So that's cool that they add that on. This one actually has an LED light bar, which works really well. Um, they're actually on right now. And while we're talking about it, I'll turn the lights off just so you can see. Um, they're actually pretty bright. So this is really nice. I actually had it outside. It's very dark right now. It's about seven o'clock at the time I'm recording this. I'm in my garage and um, I had this outside. It was very dark and I was able to use this without any issues because of the fact that it has those LED lights on the top. So that was a nice perk. Um, you have this roof rack as well. So if you flip it, it's not really gonna cause any damage. Um, there's pins that basically hold the top cover and you basically pop these out. There's four of them. And then you have to be careful of the LED lights. But um, once you pop this out, one of these had like a little divot on it. So I had to kind of push it a little bit. Once you pop this out, you have the whole frame. Um, I'll actually take it off so you can kind of see. Might be a little bit tough to do with one hand, but we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna just pull all the pins. Once you have them pulled, you can basically take the entire top off. So you can see here, this plastic was a little bit rough. There we go, um, and you can see it's connected here, so you just have to be careful when you take off the top cover. So um, this has very, very large springs. Um, so this is gonna take like really good impact. I was actually driving it through uh, a ton of leaves um, right over my driveway, hitting like really good bumps, and it had absolutely no issues with that. Um, the battery is right here, which is basically strapped down by a couple Velcro pieces. You can take this up. Motors here. Um, one thing that I will note, and for those of you who buy this, I was actually a little bit confused as to how to turn this on, and even the manual didn't even tell you where the power button was. Um, and the other thing was I was initially trying to pull this off and I was a little worried that the LEDs were connected. So ultimately, once you get this apart, um, there's actually a plug here. You have to plug the battery into this plug and mine was disconnected when I got it out of the box. So you have to connect this. And then um, once you're ready, you just hit the on button here and this green light um, being on means that the, the, this basically is ready to go and it's gonna be connected. Um, you have to put batteries in the remote control, which I'll show you in a second. And then ultimately from there, um, once this is on, you got your batteries in your remote, um, you hit this switch, this will turn on and you're ready to go, it'll sync up. So really very simple. I just couldn't figure out um, where it was while the cover was on. And I didn't know if I had to remove the cover, you know, what the story was. So generally you don't have to, once you know where it is, which it's right here on this particular model, not gonna be an issue. Uh, another really cool thing that this came with was is a winch. Um, it's really funny and honestly just kind of comical. Um, works pretty well, you basically have two buttons on the remote. I'll kind of go through the remote now and give you an idea. This is the remote here. Um, the winch actually works with the top two buttons here up on the top. So one of them is gonna bring it in, the other one's gonna kind of loosen it up. Um, you have your channel settings here on the left. So this is basically for the fourth channel. Each of these, I guess, are considered channels, like the throttles one, the lights are another, which is right here, and then the accelerator and the uh, turning, which is the big wheel. Um, for the channel four, you can switch between a high or a low mode. So doing that basically will mean that this is either gonna go faster or slower. Um, I don't know if this honestly goes up to like 40 miles an hour. I just fully charged it, but I would say it goes pretty fast and it's easy to lose control of it. You could slam into things, no problem. I'll try to do a little bit of a demo here. It might be kind of tough to do with the camera, but um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a demo. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to do the winch, but it's very basic, pretty simple. Um, but overall, I mean, in terms of just buying this, whether or not it's worth it before I do a little demo here for you guys. Um, I think this is really slick. There's a lot of different uh, makes and models that you can get of these cars, different sizes. And ultimately with this one, um, I like this look and it was something that you could get in this kind of like orange color. Um, I almost would say too, it has a little bit of a distinctive 
color in the uh, photos that maybe it might be more of a red, but it's actually more of a um, more of an orange. So just bear that in mind if you decide to go with this color. So pretty easy to snap back on, and then once I'm done, I have all my pins here and I can basically pop all these back in. Um, I'm just gonna put at least one of them in so you can see how easy it is. Basically, you just get the hole, push this back through, and you do that on all the sides and you're good to go. Um, we'll actually do a little demo here. Pretty much um, hit this and we're going forward and you can see how quick it is to move. I don't have to do much of anything. If I give it a good go, it goes pretty quick. And then I can actually go back and this will reverse it. Um, the fun thing about this is that you can kind of like throw it into reverse really fast and it'll skid. Um, the turning on it works really well. So I'll see if I can just show the wheels. It's pretty much impossible to do this with one hand, but you can see the turning on it works really well. It's very responsive. Um, the LEDs, again, you can turn on or off with that additional channel, so it's easy enough to do. And then we'll see if we can do a little demo of the winch. Um, figure I throw it in, so I'm just gonna set this down. Um, so normally, by default, if I try to pull on this, I'm not gonna get anything. I think that's tightening. So if you go right, you can hear it's kind of loosening up. So this thing is just honestly funny. So now I've got a little bit of slack on it. So we could attach this to something and the wire is actually quite long and then we can pull it in. So I was joking with a friend upstairs, I was attaching it to one of his, uh, he had like a little coffee tray or something with little metal spokes on it. So we were pulling it around. Pretty funny, but, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um, I did fully charge the battery and it actually came with a charged battery. Um, so yeah, I mean, the unit works great. The controller has four AA batteries, so you will need to get those separately because it does not come with them. Um, and then you do have a charging cable here, I think for extra like options or maybe a port on the side of the remote itself. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, you know, I would say definitely get this if you're someone that's an enthusiast. I noticed there's a lot of adults that actually use these. You could get a couple of them, you know, race them around the yard with your buddies or something. Kind of just a fun little thing to, to goof around with, honestly. Um, and they seem to work well in a lot of terrain. Just reading about them, going through the manual, they can actually work in like snow and dirt and mud and water. Um, you could be going through some big puddles, stuff like that, and this thing will hold up really well to all of that. So it's a nice little perk with something like this. Um, I know when I was a kid, I went and bought like a little um, Porsche that was like sitting on a stand and you know, one of, the, one of the attendees said, you know, that's not a toy and of course I broke the wheel off. What I would say is if you're gonna get something like this, you know, probably make sure that if you're getting it for your, you know, your son or your daughter, or whatever it is, a kid, that um, they're probably old enough to understand that this thing, you know, could break very easily if you're not careful with it or smash into things. But it is gonna be pretty rugged at the same time given, you know, this has the roof rack, it has a whole massive front bumper here. So it will withstand, but you know, bear in mind that it is gonna go fast and it's gonna probably be as they recommend uh, for people, you know, kids that are older than like 14, something like that, I would say versus someone that's going to be younger and really just slam the thing and destroy it, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video review and uh, found this helpful. Uh, anyway, I uh, will talk to you later and thanks for watching.